Let me give you a show and tell of what the Move to Child Power Pack script does. Then I'll show you how to set it up. It's a phenomenal tool all on its own, but is especially powerful when you use it together with the Move to Bullet script. Let me jump to my Kanban calendar. I always have at least two months set up in my calendar outline, one for the current month and one for the upcoming month. Now, I've set up a Move to Child shortcut for both of these months, for June and July. The superpower that we have with the Move to Child script allows us to move lists to any child in our destination list. Let me show you. First, I need to select at least one list. My cursor is in this topmost task right here. Now, activating the WFX prompt, I enter a Move to Child shortcut I've already set up for this month. TM. We now see a selection of four lists because June, at this point in time, only has four remaining days in my calendar list. Let me hit Escape to cancel this menu. WFX again. Now I'm going to enter my Move to Child shortcut for next month, NM. And here we see that I have 31 days represented in this menu because each of these is a child list under the month of July. Once I've made sure that this task or expense is accounted for, I'm going to move it to the same day next month since it's a recurring item. So I can go ahead and click on Saturday the 27th, or I can use my keyboard. I'll hit the number two to jump to the very first entry that begins with two. And then I'll use my down arrow to get to the 27th. Let me now hit enter. Now, if I scroll down my calendar to the next month, you'll see the item I just moved right here. Let me scroll back up again, and I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo the move I just did. I often use Move to Child to move stuff to the same time next month or even next week, mainly because it's quick. And also, I don't have to drag things all the way down here and then scroll back up again. I can focus on some maintenance right here where I am. I might wanna move multiple things to different places. So this is great for moving stuff within my Kanban calendar outline, but as you can imagine, it's even more powerful when moving things into my calendar from outside lists. I'm gonna to jump to my home page. If I expand here, you'll see my schedule for the rest of today. Once I've taken my daughter to volleyball practice, I can then move this item into my Kanban calendar. Let me type in TM for this month. And I'm going to move this item to Friday the 28th. That's the next volleyball practice day. Also, I'm gonna to jump to this list just to show you that it didn't get sucked into the void. It's right here under Friday the 28th. Let me zoom out. As you can see, we're in the month of June. Now, what if I want to move tasks or events directly into my schedule for today? Well, I'm glad you asked because I also happen to have a Move to Child shortcut set up for my Kanban schedule. So I make sure that my cursor is placed in the event and I'm going to use my SS shortcut. So here in this pop-up menu, we see the remaining time slots I have in this list for today. I'm going to move this event back to where it was at 6 p.m. But before I move it, it's worth mentioning that if I want to jump to the list and move simultaneously, instead of sending and then clicking on the link in the resulting banner message, all I do is use Shift plus Enter or Shift plus Click. Let me Shift plus Click on this 6 p.m. time slot just to try something different. And then I'll zoom out a couple of levels. And there it is, right back at 6 p.m. Now, while I'm in my Kanban schedule list, let me expand this list right here, which has some items that have been completed. I'm going to mix this up a bit and use both Move to Child as well as Move to Bullet Scripts 
which we looked at in a previous video in the series. So I'm going to select these three items and send them back to a list I've got going for my daughter's homeschooling. E E. I'm going to jump. And while I'm in this list, I'm going to move this item right here to my Kanban schedule. Double S. Now I'm going to click on the 10 to 11 p.m. slot. I'm not going to follow, but I will backtrack to where I was. And I'm going to move this task right here into my Kanban calendar for tomorrow. So TM for this month and Thursday the 27th. I'm going to hit Shift Enter and Follow. Now I'm going to zoom out two levels. It's not really important at this point to understand how my task management system works, but what is quite evident is that the Move to Child script is incredibly powerful for moving tasks to chronological lists in Workflowy, like your calendar or schedule, if you have one. Now, let me show you how to set up a Move to Child shortcut. First, we're going to find a parent list that has children lists we want to send stuff to. Let me zoom in here. Here I have an Eisenhower matrix that I sometimes use if I don't want to schedule my whole day. Before I go along to my power pack list to set up a move to child shortcut, I need to grab the 12 character ID from the list I've just zoomed into. So to do that, I need to come out of full screen mode and double click here in the address bar to copy these 12 characters. Now I'm going to jump to my power pack list. So WFX, I'm going to zoom into move to child and then the move to child script. Now I activate WFX and use my built-in shortcut WFS. I'm going to call this my matrix, paste in my 12 character ID. True, I want to move items to the top of my list and default false. I want the workflowy order for the selection box. Let me call my shortcut MA for Eisenhower matrix. Okay, so my shortcut is ready to use. I'm gonna jump to my Kanban calendar now, KB. And what I'm gonna do is randomly select some tasks from the upcoming days and send them to specific Eisenhower matrix quadrants using the move to child script I just set up. Now I'm going to zoom into my matrix and there you see all the lists I just moved. And that's all there is to setting up a move to child shortcut. Real easy. If you keep a calendar in Workflowy, you can set up a shortcut for each month of the year if you want. I just set up two shortcuts, one for this month and one for next month. And then I recycle the shortcuts at the end of each month. And speaking of which, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below the video to two blog posts which have calendar templates you might want to use to automate the creation of calendar lists in Workflowy. Next up, we'll be looking at a power pack script called Move to Tag. This one also has some indispensable use cases. You'll find that link in the description box below the video. So, we'll see you there.